You were born for the camera, Avery. Schmidt, baby steps. You bribe desperate parents so you can use their fear and pain for cheap publicity. Well, finally, Wonder Boy gets it. <laughs> Just when I thought I couldn't possibly like you less, you surprise me. Hey, uh, give them some space, but not too much. And remember, anyone prays, get that on camera. That is gold. And you did it again. Impressive. What? Okay. Actually, you know what, Peter? I think it was perfect. There's no need. Take a break. You know what? Dr. Avery is right. Because we need to talk to Mrs. Martin anyway. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. This man is in fear. Right? Real fear. It's not us three years old. The surgery is going to be traumatic, painful, and life-threatening. And you need him to say it all again with better lighting? Dr. Avery, I don't think you need to be reminded. But just in case, I am your boss. If you need more clarification on the matter, let me know. And I can have your mom call and explain it to you. Oh. Well, while you have her, ask her how much longer she's going to be punishing us with you. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, doing a craniosynostosis on a three-year-old, which Karasik is turning into a feel-good video so he could fight the bad attention around Mayor's list. Also, he bribed the family with a pro bono surgery. Ew, gross. And yet, totally on brand. <sighs> Mayor is kind of lucky when you think about it. Uh, losing her job and possibly losing her license? Well, I mean, yeah, obviously. But she doesn't have to worry about all this crap, you know? How things look. She can just do the right thing. I love a good dare. That wasn't a dare. Thank you. Wait, no, I don't really... Hey, you busy? I just did a cervical decompression. Now I'm gonna grab enough lunch for multiple humans. I can buy you something from the vending machine on the way. On the way to where? Don't worry, we'll remain right on schedule. You don't want Dr. Karasik to operate? My sister texted us an article about this hospital. Is that what this is about? Is he part of the problem? No, absolutely not. No, Tom Karasik is a brilliant neurosurgeon. Then why make a change? Well, for starters, I'm better. Dana, Peter, I know that you only agreed to let Tom film the surgery so it would be free, but I can see now that you're both a little uncomfortable. And I can't blame you. This is a very big decision. It's your family's privacy. You shouldn't have to think about that under these conditions. So I want you to know that no matter what happens today, no matter what you decide, your surgery's not gonna cost you a thing. Yeah. Why, why, why would you do this? Well, I have a little girl of my own. And if she needed a surgery, I'd want to make sure that her doctors aren't thinking about anything except for her. Your little girl means more to me than some, some good press. Yes. Yes, and thank you. All right, let's get going then. All right, guys, let's come on in. Thank you so much. You know Tom is going to blow a gasket when he hears about this. Oh, I know. An added bonus. Get the drill ready. Stencil's almost complete. You kidnapped my surgery. Well, it was never your surgery, was it, Tom? Cap out, Shepard. I'm scrubbing in. Shepard's actually got it all under control. Uh, the family, on the other hand, has had a change of heart about you filming this whole thing. So if you get your camera crew within, I don't know, one foot of my OR, security will be called. The foundation put me. I am the foundation. And I own more shares than anyone on the board. So if you want to get technical, I am your boss. Not to mention the people that come to me for cosmetic procedures make up a huge percentage of hospital profits. So maybe you want to, um... Stay the hell out of my way. Wow. You just threw away millions in fast, free publicity and took arrogance to a level even I've never reached. This thing Gray started, you should know better than anyone how fires like that spread. And if it does, it'll burn down a lot more than this hospital. Hey, Tom, great rage in that reaction, really. But you were a little backlit, though. I'd love it if you could give it to me from the top, a little closer to the door. hoping my part would be done by the time he found out. Yeah, sorry about that. Osteotone, please, Schmidt. Schmidt, come on. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. And we're done. Everything fit is perfect. Yeah, minimal blood loss. All right, 
Why don't you get Claire V down to the pick you and then we'll update the family? I mean, it's perfect. It's miraculous. And if you'd have let Dr. Krasik film it, it might have really helped this place. I don't concern myself with headlines, Schmidt. I suggest you don't either. Well, you don't have to. You already have a career. Your future is safe no matter what. Not all of us have that luxury. All right. You're so disappointed. Why don't you get her bandaged up and settled in the picky and I'll go update the family myself. Hey. Hey. You, uh, lost? You looking for ER? No, I just dropped off a guy whose bowling ball pulled him all the way down the alley. So, is this one of yours? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I just rebuilt this little girl's skull from scratch, actually. Took all day. Oh, that's it? Usually, you're all... I was the only surgeon in the whole world who could do it, because I'm so skilled. I mean, I wouldn't say the whole world, uh -huh. first of all. The state of Washington is an argument. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't impressed. I'm suddenly starving. You have 10 minutes. I interest you in some particularly disgusting hospital food. Oh, my God. That's